He withdrew to Galilee. Jesus withdrew to Galilee. The gospel reading today is from, the, is from the, just the fourth chapter of Matthew. Jesus had just returned from 40 days in the desert where he was tempted. And of course, that was after his baptism. So beyond in Matthew's account, beyond the, uh, the birth narrative and the flee to Egypt, so far in Matthew, Jesus is baptized. He goes into the desert. And here we join him after he returns to Nazareth. And it's in Nazareth where he hears that his friend, his cousin, a great man, a holy man, John the Baptist, has been arrested by the Romans. And then he withdrew to Galilee. Have you ever withdrawn after receiving bad news? We, brothers and sisters, I would argue, are in a period of history when we have had to withdraw of sorts to a Galilee of sorts. Six, 40 years ago, there were seven churches on the San Lupa, and now we're down to one. I guess we could say, providentially, we have withdrawn of sorts to Spryfield to recalibrate to prepare for our public ministry. Jesus withdrew before he called his disciples and prepared for his public ministry. But what is that public ministry? What is Jesus, what has he providentially called, what has he called us out of? What is he doing with us? What is this public ministry that he is calling us to? What is God preparing us for? Whatever it is, as we know from, well, from the Eucharistic rite, from Scripture, but from the second reading today, whatever it is, it must come from a place of unity. In our second reading, Paul wrote to the Corinthians. Now, the, the, the church in Corinth was founded by Paul, and the reason why Paul wrote these letters is because it was uh, being divided by conflict. So let's listen to these words. That all of you be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you, but that you are united in the same mind and the same, and, and the same purpose. How can we be united like this? How do we do this? I want to just tease out three quick thoughts that I have on this as Jesus withdrew to Galilee, as Jesus has caused us to, God is sovereign, he has caused us to withdraw for a purpose. The first way I think we can be united is we are about to receive the one bread as an expression of one body of Christ. We receive the body of Christ. We are called to be the body of Christ. We're here around the altar to offer our praise of thanksgiving to God. We will receive the body of Christ as the sacrament of the altar. And we, as a community of faithful, are called to be the body of Christ. We're called to become what we consume. And we are called through this mystical bond to uphold one another, to serve one another, to love one another, and to, to be a provocative witness to the rest of the world. And here, these words are not lost on me because there is unity in what Jesus spoke. These are the exact same words that was used by John the Baptist and Jesus spoke them first. He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. We, all of us, should reflect on this mystical body of Christ and relationships that we should appear. We should welcome the gift of repentance as we try to move forward in unity. We have a sacred bond to care for one another. Let me give you another example of the body of Christ that providentially I believe Jesus is calling us to be. We are a community that welcomes immigrants from all around the world. Unity doesn't mean sameness, and we are blessed to have many different cultural expressions of the church right here in our little parish, praise God. And it is our desire as a parish to let newcomers to Canada know that they are welcome here because we take being the body of Christ 
seriously. And you know, we had a we've we've newly formed a, a committee called the Immigrant Support Committee. It is to allow everyone who shows up on our shores here to know that this is a place where they can come to be offered the support that they need to help reintegrate integrate into a new a new uh, a new city, a new town, a new culture, a new church. And so the Immigrant Support Committee next week will be offering coffee and tea downstairs after the 10 a.m. Mass, but beforehand they've asked that people arrive at Mass wearing your traditional attire that you would wherever you come from, just as an expression of the vibrant beauty that we have right here in our, in our parish. And then after Mass we'll go downstairs, you're welcome to come downstairs for coffee and tea and to get to mingle a little bit. So how can we be united of the same mind? Well, one, as I just mentioned, is unity in the Blessed Sacrament and us becoming the body of Christ. The secondly, I would say, and equally as importantly as gathering around the altar, is that, you know, there's six other days in the week too, and uh, we should pray for one another. Let us pray for our parish. Jesus prayed a lot. If Jesus prayed, I would say, we need to pray. So let us follow him exa his example of prayer. Let us pray for one another. Let us pray for our parish. Let us pray to discern, Lord, what are you doing here? We know there's something good going on here, and we just want to get on board with what you're doing. Help us know this, Lord, so we can do your will in this wounded world. Let us pray for unity in our parish. We need time to build a sense of unity, of course, and I'm very, very encouraged at how things are coming along. It's slow, yes, that's all good, but I believe we're headed in the right direction. There is a, a genuine spirit of generosity here, of faith, of hope, and of love, of community, and the Holy Spirit is honoring that and doing something new, so I just want to build on that and praise God for it. Thirdly and finally, what did Jesus do when he got to the Galilee region? So. He saw Peter and his brother Andrew, who were casting a net into the lake, and he said to them, follow me. So likewise, let's invite people to come back to church, especially those who feel hurt by the process that led to our withdrawal down to this one church building in Spryfield. Let us invite them to come back. Let us, let us pray for them. Pray who who, Lord, are you asking me to invite back? Because we need, as a, as a community, we need to heal as much as they need to heal. Let us pray for someone to invite back. Because if we are serious about the sacramental body of Christ and our calling to be the body of Christ, we must support one another. Jesus withdrew to Galilee in preparation for his public ministry, let us prepare for our public ministry as a unified parish of Stella Maris. So this week, as the body of Christ, please pray for your parish, pray for our parish, and ask someone to return to Mass. Let us now turn to the altar to receive the one bread in commitment to being one body. Amen.